12 behind the music. We are chatting with Duvon Stewart, the man behind the music. It's a documentary that uh, recently came out. One part of a documentary that recently came out featuring uh, Duvon Stewart. And of course, executive producer Mark Loquan is also with us on Zoom this morning. And Duvon is here in studio. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, man. A pleasure how to be here. How are you doing? Good Amazing. Morning. Good morning. Mark, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Good to see Duvon. Duvon there as well. And good morning to everybody. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Mark, let me start with you. Let me know what was the, the inspiration to say you want to be able to capture this information and put it out to the public. A story on Duvon Stewart, the man behind the music. Well, you have to recall, um, this is the third series. Um, the first one actually came out in 2021, second one in 2022. The first one was on Kareem Brown, um, who is now the artistic director of the National Steel uh, Symphony Orchestra. Uh, the second one came out in 2022. Um, and that was focusing on five women in pan, from arrangers to pan makers, tuners, and you know, teachers and so on. Um, and then the third series um, actually started on Duvon's balcony, I would say, in um, 2021, um, where we sat down. He was confined to home, you know, it's COVID. Mm -hmm. um, right. And, and Duvon started his own program called Pan Chronicles, where he was highlighting other people during that time. And I said, well, who's going to tell Duvon's story? He's winning all these panoramas, and there's obviously physical transformation going on. There's a story there. And of course, I know Duvon from, from many years, back from year 2000. And then we sat for many hours, safely distanced, of course. And, you know, <laughs> I was getting all the, all, all the raw emotion from Duvon on his whole process with Year for Love, which, which really fascinated me because it was um, um, a story that was built around his own, you know, loss of his, you know, best friend, mentor, um, and uh, how he transformed that, that pain into, into music, essentially. Uh, and what it did for the community. And I just found that so fascinating because it is these stories of a better tomorrow. Um, these series are, it's, are really uh, for inspiring people, you know? Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I just want to recognize up front Maria Nunes, who has been crafting, producing, directing these series for me and putting it all together. So she, uh, she deserves full credit. Most definitely. Duvon, let me jump into you because, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, Mark talked about his, his reason for wanting to capture this story. When Mark approached you and said, you know, this is something that we should be capturing, what was your reaction? I was, I was happy. Mm -hmm. But um, as you mentioned, I, I started a program online on the Facebook platform called Pan Chronicles and mm -hmm. mentioned I was doing Dr. Jits, I'm sorry, Dr. Len Muxi Sharp, uh, Robert Greenwich and stuff like that. And he just called and said, Duvon, who do your story? You know, so well. I don't know. Whenever it's there to be done, it's there to be done. You know, mm -hmm. as you said, we sat in the balcony for hours, social distancing between ourselves, and it just came out. Yeah, it just came out. You know, he, he hearing about um, what 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 was um, behind the scene with me creating music and doing music and being so successful at the point in time. Just mm -hmm. to say, yo, your story need to be told. Did you think it was a story that needed to be told? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you knew that from, because I know, I mean, I've heard, I, I didn't see the, the, the full thing yet, right? Yeah. That's a little pieces, but I know, I know of the story. I mm -hmm. know of the story of your mentor mm -hmm. um, passing away mm -hmm. or being, being killed rather. Yeah. Um, and you using that as your inspiration. And that's why I played the song here for love yeah. to start, because I know that that, when you heard that song, it, it triggered something mm -hmm. in you. Um, when it comes to, to being able to retell those stories or telling those stories, do you go back to that place uh, that you felt, the feelings that you felt when you... Hell yeah. Big time. How were you, you able to navigate through that? Um, it was very, very emotional. Mm. Very, very, very emotional. And um, I was in a place where I was emotionally broken mm -hmm. to the point that losing a mentor and a good friend, what has uh, inspired me so much, it took me back to the point where I was envisioning him being alive, mm. being around me, being this enigmatic individual, being this not love, lovely soul of an individual. And out of the blue, you know, 11 gunshots took his life away on Nelson Street. And driving back 
on that scene when it took place, I feel a sense of emotional feeling big time. Mm -hmm. And to put that into context of where I want to take it, it was like a divine intervention because the lyrical content of the song spoke so much about what took place with the individual, mm -hmm. another young one gone, beat with chest and we smile, say he's a bad man. And living around Nelson Street, where I used to live before, the turf war is just like one street away. Yeah. The restrictions of going up and coming down was very, very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And just being in that mindset and going back and recreating the music, creating the story, telling the story of my friend Wayne Allen, it was very, very emotional. And I go back to that place all the time and just see how humble and thankful that God has blessed me with a gift to translate a story into theatre with music. Yeah, but it's also a form of therapy. Yeah, it was a form because of therapy. It seems, it seems to me like you were able to use it to, to get through the emotions that you were dealing with and channel it into the music as well. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I, I understand that um, that year was also the first time you decided to speak to the band using song system, mm -hmm. microphone, and all of that stuff so that not just the band was hearing you clearly, but the community around mm -hmm. also was able to hear your motivation and to hear your inspiration and to hear the story as you were telling it to the band. Mm -hmm. Do you think that had an impact on, on the community at all? Indeed, indeed. Because um, BPTT Renegades, which is located on 138 Renegades Way, Shafford Court, The Harp, Baselon Street, Superior Hill, Bart Street, and, and these places, is a high risk area when coming to crime mm -hmm. where a lot of gangs around the area fight amongst themselves with other people and a lot of families lost loved ones mm -hmm. innocently through crime with guns and stuff like that. And when the song Year for Love came out and I brought the, the microphone and the speaker out and I was just repeating the song every day, every day, a sense of hope came around and the feeling was so so gracefully rece received by many individuals that felt being uh, that they lost a loved one and they, they feel now that somebody's speaking to them yeah speaking to them with music and it, it, it sent a, a different signal throughout the com community and with the band in, uh, in total and with the, the people that come into the Pania to listen to the band practice, I always reiterated on explaining what I'm doing, what went on. So you're not just coming to hear Pan in the Pania, but you're coming to hear a story behind the music, mm -hmm. which replicates Year for Love and yeah. what it really means, you know? Sometimes it goes through the paces of having the lyrical content being placed on um, photocopy and we, and we put it out for all the players to read it and to have a sense of what they it. internalize it, to have yeah. a, a sense of what they're doing. And we sometimes we sing in the pania, we engage the crowd in singing, we engage people in the Shafford court, they look out the windows and mm -hmm. they see this whole thing is like a different feeling that they felt in um, 2018. Do you think we need we need more investment into culture and music to be able to use that to, to fight against crime? Big time, big time, big time. Because here in the story, it sounds to me as though this is the, this is the way that we have to fight it. We have to fight it with, like you say, with love, with music, and using that energy to create hope. True. Ah, it's an interesting time going forward, very, and, very... I, and I and I do congratulate you on all of your successes. And you know, I don't want to give all the rest of the story because it still have more to be aired. And I, haven't, more I, haven't to see, I haven't seen it as yet. You see, I, <laughs> I, and I even hear about parts of the story I was talking. To. Anyway, that's a whole other conversation. But Mark, are you still with us? Yeah, I'm here. I'm Mark, here. tell me, where, where can people access this? I mean, besides that other place where they were showing it, where people can access this um, <laughs> this documentary and it wants to come? Well, the idea is that, um, you know, we would also air this in Tobago, um, and that, that will be featured there. I know there's some arrangements being worked out there right now. Okay. Um, there's, there's also the plans to have this aired on you know, local TV, all the three episodes. Um, and then, of course, the idea was to, to put this up on YouTube like the other Better Tomorrow series. Right. So you can look so forward to find it there. there. All right, fantastic. Oh, yeah. so 
you would let us know when it's available on YouTube so that we can make sure and direct people to it so that they can definitely get the story and all three parts of it because I know that it's a, it's a, it is indeed an amazing story. Let me thank you gentlemen so much for joining us this morning. Mark, congratulations on yet another great initiative and we look forward to seeing the rest of it as well. Yeah? Thank you very much. No problem. And Duvon, congratulations again on all your successes. And Thanks this is just man. another part of it because I think the story is very important for people to... Very, very important. And for the next generation who's coming after to be able to say, oh, this Indeed. happened before and we have this documented. So congratulations Indeed. and thank you very Indeed. much. And just before I go, I want to wish my mom a happy, happy birthday. May God continue to bless her. She's an amazing woman. If it wasn't for her, she wouldn't be where I am today. So happy birthday, mommy. Love you. And on that note, we take a break and come back. Thank That's you so right. much, Duvon. Thanks so much.